Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mom, mom and Son, Son Podcast. Podcast. This is Rose Crest Fausto, the mom, also known as FQ Mom. And this is Anton Fausto, the son. For our next episode here in the podcast, we have a special guest. He yep. is one of my co-VJs on Mix. And I'm sure a lot of people know him. And it's been a while, actually, that I've been thinking of uh, getting him on the podcast. He actually talked to me about it already before. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a bit. But then... And we were going to be interviewing the one and only Mr. VJ Edward Barber. So, Shampai, we're going to do this over the phone <laughs> because uh, we are practicing the enhanced community quarantine. Hello. Hello, Edward. Hello. Yo, Hello. what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Hello, Iho. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. I'm still alive, which I think is good. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so I'd like to. Of course, first and foremost, welcome you to the Mom and Son Podcast. And thank you, thank you very much for taking time out of your ML filled schedule. I'm sure na busy ka sa uh, So you thanks very to, much for joining us. You have to educate the ones who don't understand what ML is. Oh, Edward, please. What is, what is ML? ML? Oh, okay. Make ML? love? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> My day is not filled with that. Um, ML is stands for Mobile Legends. It's one of like uh, at the moment, at least, especially here in Asia, one of the most popular uh, video games. It's played on uh, handheld games or, or phones, mm-hmm. um, and it's a it's a strategy game. Oh, and you play on a team of five. It's kind of like Dota, but on mm. the phone. Okay. Yes, it's, like, it's it's really very very. Very similar to Dota. And very addicting from from <laughs> Edward and Robbie's very uh, story. So anyway, thank you, Edward, for your time. And for your uh, headband, actually, mm. we worked out a few days ago. And since our hair, both of us, our hair has been growing longer now. I have to use headbands uh, for my bangs. Ikaw naman, Edward, kamusta na yung buhok mo since it's been growing <laughs> oh long? If you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have, but in, in Mix It Up, man, I'm... When we're <laughs> or when I do stuff in general, because at the moment there's a lot of content that's being done, uh, like either for mix or for uh, ABS or something like that, and I'm always like ninety percent of the time wearing a hat or mm. something on my head because my hair is so long. Yeah, I was actually supposed to cut my hair about, I think the la- like the week. Or like the Friday before quarantine officially started, oh. I was supposed to get my hair cut. And like I was going through look tests and like because we were trying to figure out a look for a certain character I was supposed <laughs> mm-hmm. to play, and so they're like, "Oh, don't don't cut your hair yet because we want to uh, pra- experiment with ah, your hair." And so you. like a month or two months before I was supposed to get my hair cut, I was already growing out. So I, I don't think I've cut my hair. I've cut my hair this once at the beginning of the year. So and your, it's really bad. <laughs> your bangs is up to below your nose already. <laughs> Oh, no, but I can I can use it as sunglasses now. Oh, okay. <laughs> my eyes. All right. Besides, ano, except having a haircut. Okay, when this is all done and over, when it's safe to go out, like, when it's safe to go out, na not necessarily pag tapos na yung quarantine, but when it's safe to go out, na Edward, what's the first thing you want to do? I'm going to. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna Barber. do? Barber. Besides, besides, ano, haircut. <laughs> Besides a haircut, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my church, mm. and um, church is not just uh, f- for me. It's not just um, like the place. It's like like going and having mass and everything like that. I'm just gonna go there because I I've built such a community that well, I not I've built, but I've I've gained such a community um, there, and I have so many friends and people I really consider family. And like we've been keeping contact over like Zoom calls and game nights and things like that. Where but, is church for you? Um, is it close to your place of uh, your residence? It's actually it's half an hour away. Oh, uh, on a Sunday mm-hmm. where there's no traffic. Usually it can even go up to an hour if mm. I go there on a weekday. Favorite church, favorite church, Demon. So are you gonna hug them or it's not yet allowed? Um, Without the vaccine, we cannot be so sure. <laughs> like actually, there was a meeting uh, earlier this week uh, with all the leaders of the church, and they said basically that this is going to be a time of well, of course, it's a time of change because no one could really expect what was going to happen with the the virus and everything. This this was in no one's plans. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a time of really adjusting, and I mean, I personally, I don't think it's going to be. Um, 
I don't think there we're gonna be able to have church like we did before mm-hmm. or like mass gatherings. I feel I still feel like for the next year at least. That's right. Um, but, but even if there is a vaccine, mm-hmm. um, it's it's not gonna be the same. It's really yes. really gonna be different. I I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm not sure how ABS-CBN is gonna work with like you know ASAP and stuff like that. I don't know if we're gonna have a live audience anymore, like a studio audience. That's correct. Uh, I'm not sure about like concerts in the future. It. I I think for the next, honestly, to be honest with everyone who might be listening, two to three years. This that's the impact of this. That there's gonna so, be a noticeable difference, Baron. Yeah. Yes, we will never for go sure. back to the old normal. We will just have to settle for a new normal. Yeah, create a new normal. Yes. Anyways, since we're talking about the quarantine, nga, let's start off um, the questions. So we asked a bunch of questions, yeah. of course, from fans and even this one. Our first question it comes from my mom's uh, employee. Her name's <laughs> Trisha. and I know that we talked about this recently. But then very briefly, gang Edward being an ex housemate. What would be a big difference between the quarantine we're facing now and your PBB quote unquote quarantine? quarantine? <laughs> PBB, um, honestly, PBB was <clears throat> for me. Again, like we, yes, Anton, we did touch on this uh, recently, but PBB really brings out the the raw identity of who you are. Yeah. It's the the ultimate. You know how people say that. Money magnifies yeah. whatever's inside of your course. heart. So if you have a lot of money and you're a bad person, you become you're a, be greedy. Yeah. Um, but if you're uh, if you're a good person, you have money. You'll share it with the people, or you'll you'll use it for good. And I feel like PBB is a very similar concept to that. It strips you down layer by layer, mm-hmm. and it's not like a a traumatic, you know, invasive into your like in your privacy, but. Um, it's like a marathon in a sprint. So if you come in there trying to be who, someone you're not, mm. it's gonna fall off real quick. And I'm really grateful because I'll, I'll answer the question in a, in a second. But I'm really grateful because I went into PBB not knowing a single thing about show business <laughs> and about other artists or about how PBB worked. So everything was a new experience. So it was really easy for me to to react without bias. Mm. Um, So like I'm really happy that I didn't know anything about it because I I didn't want to walk in there and be something I'm not. Um, and the really big difference to to PBB and enhanced community quarantine is that there's technology. It's it's really as simple as that. Like for me, you have a phone, you have Netflix, you have YouTube, uh, you have a TV where you can watch the news. That is the difference, and that is that's what makes. ECQ harder than PBB because Ooh. you know what's going on. For me, like I always thought it would be easier knowing what's going on, but oh, sometimes okay. it's just not. Like it's true, the ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. And so when you're inside the house, you're you're talking all the time with people that you know. You're you're living with them. You're getting to know them. You're building new experiences, and you have a challenge. And the challenge is to build. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a three foot tower out of mm-hmm. wood or like out of chopsticks or something like that and something as, as simple as that is just so entertaining and maybe because you knew that it would have an ending your pbb how long was that again um initially i was in the house straight for three months oh three months and so then i went out long. for one month and then they they put us all back together again for oh. another two months how old were you at the time when you first entered the bahay ni kuya Uh, I just turned 16 when oh I my, when I went inside. Oh my! You were very inside. young. Wow. Very And young. And now I'm a, I'm turning 20 uh, in a couple of months. What made you join? Long story short, I was always a fan of Liza and Sober uh, Liza Soberano and Oh yeah, and very pretty face. But of course, my crush was uh, Liza. I didn't understand Tagalog, but I I was always watching Forevermore when it came <laughs> out of the Philippines, <laughs> just so I could look at her. Yes. And one time when I was 15, almost 16, I had uh, work experience. And one day when I was at work experience, my mom said, my mom told me that they'd have a concert with uh, four hours away from where we live. Okay. So this is like, in, yeah, Germany? Let's go. In, this Germany? in Germany. In Germany. Okay. I lived in a place called Mülhausen, which is near Heidelberg. So are you named what? Mo- Müll- Mülhausen. Mülhausen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the it's the U with the two dots above. Oh, that's how it sounds um, like. Okay. Yeah. And so 
I we traveled four hours to a place called Düsseldorf. Oh my! And, uh, wow. By bus, mm. wow. and I went there, and it was like the first hundred people to buy like certain merchandise were able to get a, a picture with them. Oh, and you did. Um, You're a hardcore fan, not, for that. Uh -huh. I did not. I was a hundred uh, fiftieth. <laughs> so I didn't get to to be part of the photo op. Yeah. And so what happened was I just took a picture with a poster, mm. like one of the banners, and I asked the man to take a picture of me, my sister, and my mom who were with me. Okay. Um, and that guy turned out to be one of the heads of TFC. Uh -huh. Who's like uh, organizing the event there? What are and the so he chances? Said, oh. He said, uh, "Do you want to? I have a contact in you know a big brother. Would you like to try out? I think you would do well." Wow! Uh, and so on the way back, already like a couple of hours later, I got a message on my <laughs> my me Facebook Messenger asking if I wanted to do an interview, and then tuloy tuloy and now. Uh, and now but the here. honest reason why I really wanted to go into PBB is because when you're 16 in Germany, they start pushing you to. To figure out your um, what direction you want to direction you want to head in mm -hmm. uh, for university, so I didn't have a direction, and my sister was telling me about you know she had already she was already in university at the time. She's like, you have to do an essay, you have to have your CV and your application, and I realized I had nothing on my application that was that was special, <laughs> and my grades weren't exactly that great. Like my my sister is a genius, and my grades were not that good. Where, what year? What average. grade were you in? Were you like grade twelve already at that time? Uh, it's a different system. Setup in, in a different system in Germany, but I was yeah two years before university. Okay. I think it's year eleven. I think yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah so ten. year ten. So yeah, the reason why I wanted to join DBB is so I would have something special to put on my resume. My CV, in my resume, yeah. and I didn't even expect I was gonna get in. Okay. So and here we are now. And here we are. And here you are. Actually, there's another question. Related to that? Yeah, this comes from Alpha, at Alpha Barilio. He or she asks, uh, you know, it's connected then to, you know, get, now that you have the work experience, are you going to enroll for college anytime soon? Any plans um, ka ba? I, I do have a plan because, of course, I, I'm, I'm really, we have to be realistic. I don't know, maybe my career in showbiz could end next year. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could end in five years, but regardless, I don't. At the moment, as of now, I'm sure I could get into certain types of work, but nothing outside of the industry. So I want to make sure I haven't actually finished high school yet. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, I still have a couple. I think I have two years of high school to finish because since I left at 16, yeah, that's um, right. I still have a couple of years to finish. Uh, and I'm working on getting homeschool that fits with the the type of course that I want to take. Yeah, yeah, um, you can do that. Because I I was doing the international baccalaureate in Germany. Yes. And I was already I'm only two years away from fin finishing it. So signing the money if I don't if I spend yeah. my whole you mm -hmm. know childhood doing that and then I just move on to something else. So the the hard point is uh, I'm, there are not many schools that are willing to adjust to my schedule whilst giving me the IB. Mm. Um, and so that's the challenge at the moment. So if there's any <laughs> anyone listening at the moment, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have a timetable uh, for that? School. Within X number of years, I should be able to finish high school because you know the older you get, the more tamad you will be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to no, finish I, I, that. I'm already experiencing that. Uh, I don't <laughs> like. I feel like I'm too smart. I, I had a like a trial workbook, like yeah. work booklet, and then it's like. One of the questions was read the paragraph. This was for Tagalog, and my Tagalog, I think, is is okay already. Yes. But the question was, um, like, it was a paragraph you had to read, and the first question was, what was the name of the dog? What was the name of the girl walking the dog? Mm -hmm. Man, it's so easy to answer, but <laughs> talaga. Uh -oh. But I, I, I have to finish. I think my timeline is within the next two years. I have to mm, be okay. on the way within the next two years or next year but of course if i choose to take time off uh take time for school it means taking time off work and yes. that's also you know dangerous in a sense in the industry uh, that's right yeah you have to yeah. be able to so, balance so it. maybe you should really be able to do something on an online basis so that you can still continue your work yeah yeah i would be very open to that i just need the a school that will adjust and give me the same 
Mm-hmm. I mean, well, my and mom I also, has friends. And there's a third factor <laughs> where I need my, my management and ABS CBN to also be okay. Yeah, we'll get you know. About my mom Nick has friends na um, homeschooling. Yeah, who kind of know those. Yeah, we'll, we'll update you. We'll update you if you know. All right. Okay, you awesome. were talking about work, the ba? Um, yes. Um, you know, it's practical nga to finish education. But if ever you weren't mm-hmm. an actor, di ka artista, what do you imagine yourself uh, doing now? What would you? What was your dream as a young boy? My dream, actually, when I was uh, a youngster, was to be an author of, oh. of like a book series. I love writing. Oh wow! Um, I've always, I've always loved it. It was the only thing I was really good at in school. Like in school, I remember I would be like the worst student in math and science. Mm. I was so bad at it. But when it came to creative thinking, literature, I was so. I was, as in, I'm gonna admit it now. Super yabang ako sa English class because like they were reading. Shakespeare and stuff, and write uh, the poems, and they were analyzing uh, the metaphors and the similes and all of that. And I get it; I get what the meaning was mm-hmm. straight away. But all the kids were like, "I don't get it." Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm one of those. I don't get it. Diko gets you Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, but bro, that's how I felt in maths. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These things in maths, I could, I just can't. My maths is so bad. Have you talked to ABS-CBN Publishing about that? If you like, yeah, yeah, if, what but, do you like to write? You know, my last book was published by ABS CBN. Yeah. Really? Yes. Kapamilya okay. author here. So, anyway, what do you like to write about? It was uh, always fiction. Mm. Or, or for me, just now, now it's more into not like super fiction. Before, I, would, I remember like the first thing I ever tried to write when I was like 13 was about zombies because I was really Ooh. into The Walking Dead. That's something uh, that you I share actually, with Anton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I actually posted my first two chapters of the st- of or like three chapters of the book on Wattpad, but under like a different name. Yeah, and yeah. Then alias. That there were so many people were like, "This is bad. Just take it down." <laughs> <laughs> so, thing is a I different like, really, name. I spent like three summers. Writing <laughs> um, but it's okay. Yeah, you know, there's this saying that before you become good at something, you're mm. gonna first suck. You're gonna suck at it first yeah. before you're gonna become yeah, good at it. Yeah, for sure. In writing, they say you just have to write that shitty draft. And then it's yeah. gonna get better. And yeah, you, you get it and then I Yes, you and you know what good after. writing is all about? Yeah. It's about rewriting. So go back to your zombie chapters. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. But also, I, I, the reason why I don't really want to do anything with writing as of now is because I want, uh, I want everything to be my my point of view i don't want like if i publish it i sort of want to do it by myself because i don't want anyone changing it i don't mm-hmm. want anyone editing it. why don't you create your own blog posts i also i don't want uh there to be a, a biased view like if i ever do a blog it's gonna be it's not gonna be my name really because i don't, I don't want people to to think because Edward the, Edward the artist. Yeah. Like I don't want it there to be a certain image there. No way. So, like, that can I, be your, I will yeah, always... your pen name. You can you can make up a you can make a pen an name. Alias or yeah. another name. Yeah. yeah. So how do you like, spell it backwards? Anton is very good with which that. Which one? Edward Draude. <laughs> nah, you, you 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 can come up with a better name. <laughs> So, uh, so writing, okay, that's writing, very... that's very interesting. You know, no wonder when sometimes I do get to watch your mix it up. And you really like explaining things. So that, that yes. is really a characteristic of a writer. We, we do like to explain things. We do like to tell stories. So, you know, it's a, it's a muscle that you have to exercise, writing. So I think you, you should. Even if you still don't want to publish anything yet, you just come up with your regular writing. I don't know if you could do it on a daily or once a week basis. Mm-hmm. And you just... Let it out, man. <laughs> Express. <laughs> okay, let's talk about ano naman, your your journey. So na nakwento man na how that I would say major suerte yun na you you went you traveled for hours you wanted to watch a concert you had the picture it happened to be the one of the heads the right? How was it like moving away from home when you went to the Philippines? But before that, can I just ano cut in? Did you ever get to personally meet Liza Soberano? 
Oh yes, quite a few. Well, I've been in working in the industry for ah okay. At the, well, in August it's gonna be four years. Ah, all right. So she um, knows about your story. Oh yeah. All I, right. I actually all right. met her inside Philip inside the the BBB. Ah, okay, ah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. And I told her the whole story. Okay, Anton, go be, going back to okay. your question. I I'm sure that it was a big shock then, naman, when you came to the Philippines from Germany. How hard was it to transition? Bro, it wasn't hard at all. Oh, really? Um, I've been coming to the Philippines since I was six months old. Since mm. I was a baby. So every year, I think there have only been like two or three years in my life where I haven't spent Christmas in the Philippines. Like I'd even get permission from school sometimes to leave two weeks early so I could have a month of vacation in the Philippines uh, with my family. A month? Um, yeah. And you're from and La Union, I, La Union. Right? I'm from La Union, yes. I have my family and rela- my relatives there. We'd, every year, I'd spend it with them. So the humor, the culture, the food, everything. Oh, like even the temperature. Like My yeah. dad always complains when you come out of the airport. And that <laughs> wave of the humidity oh. just hits you. So my question like, is, are you Ilocano? Is your mom Ilocano? Yes, she is. Oh, do you know how to speak? Do you know that I am? I'm Ilocana. Yeah. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> I don't know how to surf either. Re- you oh, don't really? Know how to surf? You should. I don't know how to surf. Oh, no. You have to be a true La Union. La Union? What do you how talk? do you call someone who's from LU? Um, Ilocano. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Taga yeah, LU. I'll surf because I need that beach body first. Wait, so mm. did your mom grow up in La Union? Um. I think so, yeah. Uh, yes, she did. Yeah, so she... Uh, I'm, that area. I'm sure she knows how to speak the language well. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Like, I actually get annoyed at them because I keep on saying, like, I, I learned Tagalog for you guys and you're still speaking Ilocano. Like, <laughs> when oh, meron, well, why? <laughs> are, are, is she frugal? Ano po yung frugal? Matipid? Uh, no, not really. Not because really. With my family, actually, from, in my family there, Mm-hmm. She she likes to spoil them because my my family mm-hmm. there my relatives there they're the ones that are are really careful mm-hmm. um, with their money. Oh, and, so they're the ones. Um, like even when I started, like uh, earning, yes, my, my, they were very they were very uh, vocal about the fact like we don't want to depend on you don't don't oh, ever think good. that you owe us anything like they're my family of course but uh, what I really love about them is that they 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 work for their own uh, mm-hmm. for their bread. Mm. That's a, you know that's an Ilocano stereotype is that yes the, the matipid yeah that they're very yeah they're very frugal they they really are very wise with their money Sakto nga. so really um I'd like to have a talk with you ah, <laughs> on how you handle your money because that's what I talk about I talk about money and family FQ which is which stands for financial intelligence quotient. So hopefully, because you are very lucky to be earning your own keep at a very tender age, you know, you were still just in your teens, or you still are. You're yeah. only 19 up to now, right? Yes, but And so have you been investing? <laughs> um, Ito na. No, I have not been investing. But I haven't been, like, the, that's my plan in the future. Uh, I plan before, within the next two years, to start something. Mm. Uh, my my dad and my my dad my sister my my and I, myself we have our own foundation already which was mm. something that we wanted to, uh, to start at the very beginning it's called the Elm Tree Foundation yeah. Elm Tree Foundation that, like, what does yeah, it do Elmtree. basically we always wanted to help kids that didn't have the chance because the Elm Tree if you guys have ever seen an Elm Tree is big branches protect the, uh, protection and uh, deep roots mm-hmm. so uh, the Elm actually sounds for Edra, Edward Laura my my Ooh. So E L M. Yeah. So, so all the kids who never had a chance to to get a good education, or were never emotionally or uh, secure, or had a family, uh, it's basically giving a chance to them uh-huh. to 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 get a big a better future. Because not all of us were born in an easy uh, or easy environment, or with the chance to be something more than themselves. Oh. So we wanted to make sure that every kid had that right. But uh, at the moment, it's it's still really small. It's just growing. At the moment, we're just partnering with different uh, foundations, Mm-mm. and then uh, we're growing now. But other than inv- other than that, that's not really an investment. That's not really going to be like it's a money for profit. It's not for profit. Yeah, yeah. it's not for profit. It's uh, my good dad is, My dad is a, is a, an accountant and he mm. has his own business. You you also have to have your passive investment. 
and maybe Anton can talk yeah, to Yeah, one day we that. can. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, we should have a session on that on the importance. Because, I mean, you know, it's it's also in the industry. It's the reality that di naman natin agam na, like mm. what you said. How long the career yeah. is gonna be? So you know, where, wherever you are, whenever, whatever time it is in your career, it's important not to practice that Ilocana trait of being frugal and good with your money. All right, so that's it for part one. Part one of our interview, our discussion with VJ Edward Barber. Grabe talaga si Edward kasi makwento talaga siyang yes. tao. So I think it's just right that we split it up to two episodes to mm-hmm. really have the meat of it, have the whole heart of it. Okay, so see you again next week for the part two. So once again, it's been Anton Fasa the Sun. And Rose Fresh Fausto, the mom, also known as FQ Mom, for another episode of Mom, mom and Son, Son Podcast. Podcast. The Mom and Son Podcast airs every Tuesday, 7 a.m. and can be streamed on Spotify, Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Buzzsprout.com, and YouTube. Just search Mom and Son Podcast for your weekly dose of family, finance, passions, and everything in between. Leave a comment so other listeners may find this podcast. If you have any questions or suggested topics, email us at antonfalso at gmail.com.